If you've ever used Isotope Stutter Edit, then you'll be familiar with the ability to be able to trigger effects mapped across various keys with your fingers. Teenage Engineering and Sonic Charge have included this ability within the effects mode of Tonic, and once you get started with this particular feature, you're not going to want to put down Tonic, ever. In record mode, when you press and hold the effects button, you're treated to 16 LEDs pulsing with the tempo. Tonic is loaded with 16 triggerable effects that exploit and manipulate all the parameters used to create your drums in some very creative and exciting ways. In record mode, you can trigger any of the 16 effects at will, and you also record each effect's trigger as the sequencer plays along. Each button press is recorded until the end of the loop, giving you plenty of time to fire off multiple effects triggers, altering the sound of your original loop in big bad ways. This is especially cool when you switch back into play mode as you can trigger effects over the top of your beat manipulations without recording over them. So the original effects manipulated beat plays along and then additional triggers destroy the loop even further without altering the original effects manipulations. Very, very cool. Let's talk about some of the individual effects on each key. Key 1 triggers the half rate effect, which slows down the playback speed of the current pattern to half time for as long as you physically hold key 1 or record it as an effect in record mode. Effects like half rate are great as a sustained effect throughout the loop or triggered only partial duration through the loop to alter the timing. For example, I can trigger half rate at first and fire off a quick burst of key 11, which is beat repeat, an effect that causes a loop to rhythmically stutter to alter the groove of the loop and give it a little more attitude. If I need a more rapid stutter, I can use key 12 instead of or as a secondary stutter source, as it's a faster version of beat repeat on key 11. Not all of the effects are rhythmic. Some of the effects alter the tonality of all of the sounds within a pattern. For example, key 14 triggers granular, an effect that mimics a low resolution granular playback device. This effect adds a distinct 8-bit circuit bent distortion while making the drum slightly melodic. Granular is brilliant to swap between its next door neighbor on key 13. The FM effect adds in frequency modulation to drums within your sequence. Beefing things up and adding the metallic quality FM synthesis is so well known for. In the next tutorial, let's take a look at some of the other effects laying within Tonic and learn how we can use them to our advantage.